as Attila Jozef rightly said, without each other, all is night. So this last poem is called Prospero. You stood there and took out the silver, one by one, and threw them on the floor. <coughs> the vase, the tray, the candlestick, all the forks and knives, gone. The huge cupboard stood empty, barren, expectant. Then you picked up the burning logs and tenderly arranged them inside, one at a time, filling the space with smoke and the smell of scorched flesh. Are you out of your mind? I asked. But you laughed and closed the door. Now I'm staring at the cupboard half thinking that the frail snakes of smoke escaping from its hair with cracks will wrap themselves around my ankles and lift me up slowly, unbelieving. Then I could see the inside of your laughing mouth and could count the fiery syllables escaping your throat. I could reach out and touch your hand, but instead, I'm quietly bursting into flames. Mm -hmm.